Hello, this is an update on the dual smart drive wind turbine. Uh, here you can see two plates holding the shaft and the generator. I've started to build the frame and you can see it here laid out. The, uh, it's coming on. This is a picture of my some stick welding that I did with my new welder which is here and which is helping me a lot with stuff basically I'd had problems before uh, just doing some test welds a couple of days ago uh, this is one of the stators both of which have been rewired to the 4 times 3 c configuration that's the other stator you see the stator brackets in the middle which hold the stator in place and the shaft's going to be connected to the frame as such. So I've got this gear cog for the wind turbine which is going to be connected to the drive shaft and I put some tacks on it with my uh, doo-doo welder but now I'm going to weld it up properly with this bad boy. Okie dokie. Right now we've got to watch not to fill the hole up. I'm going to turn the uh, power up to 6. The last bit went in very nicely and I'm going to have to try and repeat that process the whole way around. That seemed to be a lot better on that wire speed, on that power setting of 6, sorry. I left a slightly longer stick out, so I may have to do that again. It was pretty uh, satisfactory as well. That ain't coming off. Don't see need in a grinding the hell out of it. That's alright as it is. Sweet. There's no point really welding it any more than that. Ow. See, that's not going to be coming off. So, and if we put too much, an unnecessary amount of weld on, then that might just buckle the, uh, you know, twist the actual gear cob. So, you don't want to do that. So, these two plates, one here and one here, Will be the frame will be connected to those. This, when it's in the turbine, will be the other way up. So these two plates will be facing up and joined onto the frame and the shaft. But I just wanted to show you that one disc slightly better aligned than the other. But overall, it's coming on. I'm gonna do some of that stuff inside that needs welding again there's a few bits I'm going to do that with the stick welder I think do it outside yeah that's the first time you will have seen it mounted in any kind of frame so yeah that's good so this is the truly awful welding I was trying to tack these things on with that 150 amp MIG welder I got and that's why I had to buy a new MIG welder look at that terrible so, but they're in exactly the right place, so I'm going to grind off the worst of it and then just uh, do them with the new welder. So, let's get those cleaned up a bit. Got rid of a lot of the excess.
So that's good. Now I can weld them on properly. It'll sit in. Nice! Very nice indeed. Of course, what I really love about this for now is that I can leave this thing in it and it's not going to fall off the bench and break anything. So I've got this as a kind of mock-up of how I want the frame to be. Uh, you'll see these plates, instead of being welded to the top, are welded like this. And then it brings the shaft a little bit closer to the pipe shenanigans, which is going to be under here. So, sorry, the uh, tower pipe will be underneath here, facing downwards. These two gears will sit on here, and then the motor will sit underneath this bit. So this is what it looks like at the back. Uh, we seem to have a spare 10 inches on the back, and as it's quite thick metal, one inch up. One thing I forgot to say is that I managed to drop something very heavy on my pillar drill adjustment thingy. Let me find it. There, the handle that raises the bed up and down. So I'm going to try and get that off and see if we can get it fixed with my spunky new welder. So this is wire speed 4, power setting 7. Got a bit shaky at the end, but that first bit went in lovely. That's not going anywhere, so I'm going to get a lick on the other side. And that is fixed. Not coming off, no way, never. So, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I need to drill through these three plates. I'm going to do them all in one go. I might weld them together, tack weld them together. Okay, so I'm going to tack weld these three plates together, and then we're going to drill them all in one go. So that's the first hole drilled through all three plates. That's those done, all exactly the same. Uh, so now I've just got to grind off the welds and they'll separate. And that's the edges very nicely cleaned up for welding to the frame on either side. Very good. So these two bits of one inch square, I need to grind places for this to hopefully weld. So I've been thinking, sitting here thinking, trying to suss out what's the best way to proceed. So what I'm going to do is this is the plate that holds the motor in, as you can see. Uh, that's going to need to be welded to a bit of this beefy angle. Then the angle is going to need to have two holes drilled in, one here and one here, 16 mil hole. Then this frame here, uh, this plate here, sorry, will have holes drilled, which will correspond, and then we will have a very thick bolt, which will come through here.
that will sit like that and then it can it will be adjusted up and down yeah it will be adjusted up and down by two big bolts that come off the back here so I've got to drill the holes in here and in there we'll do them at the same time and then I can only weld these onto the frame once I've got that all perfect so yeah so some drilling now and then once everything's drilled perfectly this plate will be welded to the angle not the best view but I'll just quickly show you the thing I repaired earlier works a treat Sorry, I had to interrupt proceedings to show you that amazing bit of swarf. It came out, which is about a nine inch. -er. I thought that's pretty epic. Straight through, no problems, and take about a minute, no drama.